in this video, we're going to continue on with chapter five and probably one of the more fun materials we're going to be making where we're going to make a material that its relationship, you know, this plane in relationship with this ball is going to change how that material looks. Before we get started, let's double check a few settings just to make sure that this will work correctly. So we're going to go underneath edit. Um, project settings. Um, we're going to go underneath engine uh, rendering. We are looking for, where is it? Hardware ray tracing. And we want to make sure, I'm sorry, software ray tracing. And we're going to make sure that generate mesh distance field is turned on. So we'll just double check that it is turned on. And just remember that you do need to turn this on in order to make this work. Next, we need to make sure that some of our objects are set correctly. So I'm going to um, go to this plane. Um, I'm going to go actually into its um, static mesh editor. And I need to make sure if I scroll all the way down to general settings, um, I want to make sure that generate mesh distance field is turned off for the plane. We need to turn it off, make sure it's turned off. Then on this details panel, we're going to scroll down to the lighting section and we're going to make sure that uh, sometimes it's hard to find. Um, effect distance field lighting is also turned off, so I have to turn it off here. So effect distance field lighting is turned off. Now let's work on the sphere. We have to check a couple things with that. So let's select the sphere um, and go into its mesh. Um, we're going to go down um, underneath um, general settings and the sphere. We want generate mesh distance field turned on. So make sure that it is turned on. So this one is turned on and then on the plane it's turned off. We also need to go to the top of here and look for um, dis distance field resolution scale, which is... I think it might be down here. Uh, where is that setting? Distance field. Let's search for it. There it is. Distance field resolution scale. And um, make sure it's set to 10. And we'll make sure it's all applied. Um, we'll make sure everything is saved and we should be good to go with this. So we're done with that and we can now actually just make our material. So let's right click and we're making a new material. Um, we're going to call this M underscore simple ocean. And let's open it up. Um, we're going to search for a node called distance to nearest surface. Distance to nearest surface and place this over here. Um, this way we'll be able to find the distance between um, our pixels affected by the material that makes this all kind of work. So this is an important one. We'll need to um, create a scalar parameter. And we're going to name it a distance offset. And we're going to set this really small to like a 0 0.015. And we're going to then um, hook these all into a multiply. What I'm going to encourage you to do is once we get this all set up is to come in and start tweaking these numbers to really understand what some of this stuff does. Next, we're going to make a um, another multiply as well as another scalar parameter. So let me kind of position this. Um, hold M. Click. We'll feed this into A. The scalar parameter is going to be called number of steps. Let's try it again. Number of steps. 
and this is going to kind of control um you'll see you'll see it's kind of like a surprise of what this is i don't want to spoil it for you um it has to do with how many colors we can see so we'll stick this into our multiply give ourselves some space we then need to create a floor node and what this will do is um, it kind of gets rid of any kind of decimals. So if it's like a 1.5, it'll just come out as a one. If it's, you know, a 0.2, it'll come out as a zero. So it's kind of, you know, taking out any kind of gradient that we would have instead. Um, after this, we're going to use a divide node. And we're going to hook the floor into here. And we're going to use this for a number of steps. And now we get to choose our colors. So I'm going to use um, two constant vector fours. The first one is going to be like a blue. Maybe a little bit more blue. Yeah, something like that. We'll go really blue. And then this one is going to be white. All right. Um, we're going to add a lerp node now. And we're going to lerp between these two. And then let's move this a little closer. This that is we're using it kind of make um, we can actually kind of see what it's doing. Oh, it's not previewing very well. Uh, okay. Oh, it's not previewing very well. Let's hook it into the alpha. I guess because you actually have to have the distance for it to work. Um, it's it's um, making kind of like a banded sort of look, but we can't see that since we're not actually near anything. And then we will hook this into base color. So it's not looking like much now, but you'll see. It's going to be fun. Um, we can also just do a constant to hook into our roughness. You know, we don't want it too shiny, maybe something like a 0. 0.6, just for it to give it a little bit of something. Um, and let's save. Pop back over to here. We need to apply this now to this plane. So let's apply it to the plane. Oh, and I did it the wrong way, it looks like. I need to flip those. I wonder what happened. Hold on. There we go. It gets a little bit weird if you go too far out, but the idea now is um, it's kind of making ripples in the water based on the um, location of the object. And, you know, that's where some of these numbers come in, where if you want to play around with um, like the number of steps, like if we jump the number of steps up to like a five, we're getting, you know, more more rings associated with it. You can also adjust um, the distance offset. Like it, what happens if we change it to something like a 0.3. Um, so you can see that it's getting a lot smaller. Um, we can jump it up to maybe like a 0 0.005 and it's getting a little bit distorted. Um, so maybe not quite that. I wonder why it's having so many looking so strange like that. Let's try like a point. 2.02. We're getting like a cool sort of thing going on right there. So yeah, this one's pretty fun, I think, in my opinion. Um, it's pretty simple too. Maybe playing around with some numbers, you can you know find some other cool settings for this. Um, and that's all we have for this one.